going through the purchase and sale paperwork with a client uh, this last week and they asked me the question, what is escrow? And I have to say, immediately, my mind went back to an episode of Gilmore Girls. And I know, don't make fun of me, okay? I have almost all the seasons and episodes on DVD of Gilmore Girls, and I've watched them all. I think it's a hilarious show. And so I'm not surprised that that's the first thing that popped in my mind. But in this particular episode, there is um, some characters who, uh, are not very knowledgeable on the home buying process, but they saw a home, fell in love with it, and they put um, a purchase and sales contract down on it. And they were told that they were now in escrow. And so the guy goes around to everybody he knows saying, I'm in escrow. And somebody finally tells him, do you even know what that means? He says, no, but I'm in it. So I wonder, you know, that was written with something in mind. So how many people actually might not know what escrow is? So this video is made to explain what exactly escrow is in a little bit easier terms for us mere mortals to understand who don't deal with real estate every single day on a daily basis. So here we go. What is escrow? All right. In the simplest term possible, Escrow is where there is buyers and sellers, and then a neutral third party gets involved. Usually an escrow agent or an escrow company, closing company, something similar along those lines. Now, those that neutral third party holds funds until both parties have met their obligations in a contract. That's it. So in real estate, there's a couple different examples. Um, one would be when a closing company holds funds for um, earnest money on a purchase. Okay, so the earnest money is put down when the purchase and sales uh, offer is first accepted and it's held by the closing company or the escrow uh, company. Usually, sometimes it's held by the brokers, but these days, most often, that needs to go to a neutral third party, which would be the closing company or the escrow company. Now, the purchase and contract, purchase and sales contract gives details about how this earnest money is supposed to be held and what's supposed to happen throughout the contract um, if certain things happen. So usually if the contract goes all the way through to the end and the property sells, then that earnest money is applied to the sales price of the property. Now what happens though if the transaction falls through? Now that purchase and sales contract has details in it stating what exactly happens to that earnest money. And that closing company, that escrow company, can only distribute those funds, that earnest money funds, depending on what the contract says. So it protects both buyers and sellers, depending on why that contract fell through, is gonna determine, based on the sales contract, what happens to that earnest money. Whether the buyers get it all, the sellers get it all, or maybe it's even split between both parties. So that's one example of escrow. Now, another example of escrow is actually through your lender. So if you're buying a property with a loan, your lender will usually create an escrow account. And every single month when you pay your mortgage payment, a portion of those funds are put into that escrow account. And each month it accrues more money. Well, then throughout the year, those funds are used to pay your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance premiums. And that way, the lender always knows that your taxes are paid up and the home is insured in case something happens like fire, flood, etc. So that's another example of, a, of an escrow account. So an escrow account is a neutral third party that protects both parties, buyers and sellers from fraud or any other breach of contract. Let's say you're buying a house and you offer the money for the purchase on the condition that the seller replaces the roof and replaces the water heater. You transfer the money over so the seller has the funds, only to find out once the sale is complete that the roof was replaced, but the water heater was not. Now the seller already has your money. Without an escrow account in place, the seller would already have your money, and even though they are in breach of the contract, you're gonna to have to spend a lot of money in legal fees to get that water heater replaced or the funds 
to replace it. So an escrow account also protects the home seller because that escrow company will ensure that the funds for the purchase of the property are in place before the transaction is sold. Once the money is deposited, each party knows that the funds won't move from the escrow company until both sides, buyers and sellers, complete any to-do items listed in that contract. So even though there are fees associated with opening an escrow account and maintaining one, it does protect both parties from fraud, abuse, and can help you feel more confident in the sale or purchase of your home and property, knowing that that money is held in a neutral third party and not going anywhere unless it's supposed to. So if you have any other questions for me, <laughs> please leave them in the comments. My description below of this video will list my contract contact details as well. You can give me a call, text, or hit me up on Facebook, any of the above. I will happily answer any questions you have. You can actually leave them in the comments and I can make another video explaining or just reach out to you directly, whichever you would prefer. And also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you have time so you're notified of any future videos as they pop up. And thank you for watching this video, for supporting my business, and always remember to be kind out there.